close enough to the North Pole to count. I don't know what exactly it considers a polar orbit. Make sure all the stages are right, fairing. Looks good. Bottle to max, stability, and north will be down. Alright, so three, two, one. <laughs> Off the pad, headed north. Hopefully enough Delta V in this thing to actually make it. It's not, uh, not turning over very fast. Same problem I experienced before. We're, uh, just about past 10,000. And we're barely on any sort of arc at all. So not altogether too different from how I flew uh, in uh, 0.25 just yet. We'll take the lessons learned from this live stream to uh, take this to my regular series, I think. I feel like I'm pitched over nearly as far as I look. Let's see what we need as far as delta V for getting into orbit now. Kind of a lot. as good as I'm going to get on this first go. I still need 1,700 meters per second for that. So let's just go ahead and start that burn now. Hold that and go. Don't need that anymore. Gimbling seems to be working this time. That is something else. <laughs> I'm not I'm not time accelerating, it's just doing this on its own. orbit this time. Alright, does this count as a polar orbit for the game, though? That is the question. Let's hold on to the, uh... We're gonna hold on to the this last little booster stage for a while since it's got that, uh... Got that reaction wheel on it. I don't want to lose that just yet. Stable polar orbit between 60 and 1500 kilometers. Stable. I'm in a stable orbit. 
I not or am I not polar enough? circular. Or I'm not close enough to the North Pole. One or the other. Okay, so let's try and make it slightly more polar. We'll do that at uh, my next equatorial pass. I think the far side will be a little bit more efficient. this whole warp to maneuver node thing now too. Okay. Warp to... How's this work? No. How do I warp to my maneuver? Warp to next maneuver. There we go. Okay, you just had to click after the maneuver. do this on the... Why am I rotating? I thought we are going to do this maneuver on the light side of the planet. back yet. There we go. It's only an 11 second burn. I don't know if I have that much in the, uh, in the stage or... That just is going nuts. So now it's just going to be the reaction wheel doing all the work. And, uh, seems to be holding alright at that power level. Still quivering. It's, it's terrified. It's going to be okay, satellite. Seventy-three by one hundred one looks pretty polar to me. Let's try that scan again. Okay, that time it worked. Not enough electric charge. Did, how did I? Oh, it's transmitting data. I have no batteries on this. That's part of my problem.
take a while. Let's just uh, fast forward. Oh no, we're about to, yep. Forgot about that part. This is gonna take a couple of or orbits, I think. Let's check out the new camera modes while we're here. So this is one of my favorite orbital cameras. It's uh just kind of follows the spacecraft from the ground uh with the ground at relative down. Gets a little confused on polar orbits apparently though. Then we've got an orbital cam which just uses the uh the um, plane of the ecliptic for relative down. Uh, Chase does not appear to be chasing anything. What's locked? Oh, I guess locked is probably, yeah, locked is what Chase used to be. I guess Chase is probably something more for in atmosphere now. Turn that so the solar panels are more in the sun. Look, Kerbal Hawaii! So, has this worked yet or not? I'm gonna be really disappointed if I get all the way to 100% and it's not actually completed anything. I need to add a battery to this thing if I do that on the, uh, on my regular series. Almost there. Are we back near the space center? Oh, suddenly the ground is striped. So I take it, that means it's done. Um... Motion? No resources available. Atmosphere, no resources available. Right. Or... Hmm... Okay, so there's or pretty much all of Kerbin's landmass from the looks of things. That's holy cow. All right, so the south pole and both poles very good for or apparently. What's this telling me? Uh nothing above 70%, so that's the highest concentrations. Just apparently there's tons of ore on carbon. Where's the space center? Is there ore just near the space center? I lost the space center? Lost the space center. It must be on the dark side here. Uh, probably. I feel like the continents have changed on me. I'm looking at this upside down. I'm not looking at the planet upside down, am I? 
No. Oh, I know what it is. I don't have the the um I don't have city lights on the planet like I normally do. So that's why I'm, I don't recognize anything from orbit. Wow, I didn't realize how I used to that I'd gotten. Ooh, I like that. That's much better. Dots and dots and dots and dibs and abs and bobs. There's one lonely dot out on this island. Let's get a nice blue. Is there blue? Blue. It's disappointing. I wanted blue. Settle for red. We also, you have a heat map. Also nifty. Also very nifty. Lines and dot. Hmm. So I don't know what this actually tells me. <laughs> I'm guessing just dig here. I kind of like the uh, I like the um, Keithane grid pattern a little bit better. Mm. Let me turn this off again, because I don't want to be able to see that from... Like, am I going to be able to see this from just... Yeah, it's visible from orbit. Is that going to be visible from every screen? Is that going to be visible from this point of view? No, see, I don't even see it on this one. Maybe it's just because that was the satellite that did the scan. There's my space center. Alright. So let's try that. Oh yeah, see, it's not even showing up this time. Oh, there we are. Okay, turn it on and off by clicking the resource. Okay, so that's cool. So that, I guess, means that uh, resources are pretty moddable. Some good hooks in for that. And looks like there's some stuff on this island. Hmm. It might be where I try my... Uh, Yeah, that might be where I try actually drilling for stuff. First off, what time is it? It is 